morning year three it's mrs nicholson here with today's maths lesson today it is 230221 and our title is add using formal methods we're going to continue from what we've been starting already this week uh, so please pause the video copy out your date your title and your wilf neatly and underline with a ruler in your blue maths books and unpause the video when you're ready to continue Okay, welcome back. Let's warm up our maths brains with a little bit of total recall with our times table facts. So have a look at these questions. They are from the 10, the 5, the 2, the 3, the 4 and the 8 times tables again today. So have a go at them and unpause when you're ready to check your answers. Welcome back team 3. So here are the answers to our total recall this morning. 10 lots of 7, 10 times 7 is 70. 5 lots of 5 is 25. So just remember, don't let the uh, mixed up number sentence here confuse you. 5 times 5 is the same as 25 equals 5 times 5. 2 lots of 9 or 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 3 is 9. 44 equals 4 times 11, which is the same as saying 4 times 11 is 44. And finally, 8 lots of 3 or 8 times 3 equals 24. Excellent multiplication times tables, year three. Let's move on to what we are doing today. So we're making links about what you've already learned about addition and place value today. And also we're gonna be using the learning plow of planning because do you remember it's really important that we lay out our um, number sentences and calculations correctly in order to be successful in column addition method. So our vocabulary is exactly the same as what it was yesterday place value thinking about those hundreds tens and ones columns and the exchange where you're exchanging ten ones for one ten so bronze today are going to be adding a two digit number to a two digit number using column addition but you'll only involve in one exchange silver you're going to be adding some three digit numbers to either two or three digit numbers using the column addition method but there'll only be one exchange Gold, you're going to add three digit numbers to two digit numbers as well, but you're going to have to um, do two exchanges in your methods. And the challenge today is to solve missing numbers in column addition problems. OK, so let's have a look at an example of a bronze question today. 35 add 16. So we've laid out our tens and our ones ready for our place value. 35 is five ones and three tens the add simple goes at the side 16 is six ones and one ten now that i've laid it out correctly i can go ahead and answer it so i always start on the ones five add six or six add five is eleven eleven is one one and one ten we've exchanged ten ones for one ten and put it in the tens column where it belongs now we can add the tens Three add one is four. Oh, don't forget to add the one underneath. That makes five. So I can cross off that one. And my answer to 35 add 16 is 51. Okay, so let's move on. Here's an example of a silver where we have adding a three digit number to a two digit number. 233 add 57. So let's lay out our column addition correctly thinking about the place value columns first so 233 is three ones three tens two hundreds the add symbol goes up the side 57 is seven ones and five tens okay so now that they've all laid out in the correct place value columns i can start my addition always start with the ones seven add three or three add seven is ten that's no ones and one ten so that one ten belongs in the tens column i've put it underneath five add three add one in the tens column so i've got five add three is eight don't forget to add the one underneath makes nine now i go into the hundreds column two add a space so two add nothing is two therefore my answer to 233 add 57 is 290 can you see that the silver only involved one exchange there? Okay, so let's have a look at silver where we might get 
a three digit number and a three digit number, but we're still only doing one exchange. This example is 251 and 129. So let's lay out this, um, no, this number sentence into the correct place value columns first. So 251, one one, five tens, two hundreds, so the add symbol goes up the side. 129, nine ones, two tens, and one hundred. Okay, now that they're all laid out in the correct columns, I can go about and add them up. Let's start with the ones like we always do. Nine add one is ten. That's no or nothing, a zero in the ones column and a one in the tens column. So those ten ones have been exchanged for one ten, so I've put it in the tens column where it belongs. Five add two is seven. Don't forget to add one more. That makes eight. Now look at the hundreds column. Two add one is three. So my answer here is 380. And I did a three digit and a three digit number, but I still only had one exchange to do. If you're looking for something a little more challenging, let's have a look at a gold example. So here we go. We've got 568 add 67. And this number sentence is going to involve two exchanges. So let's set it up first. 568. Eight ones, six tens, five hundreds. Add symbol at the side. 67, seven ones, six tens. Now it's all set up correctly in the right place value columns. I can add. So eight add seven is 15. That's made up of five ones and one ten. The one ten belongs in the tens column. Six add six is 12. Oh, don't forget to add the one at the bottom. So that makes 13, which is made up of uh, three tens and one ten. So what we've got here is actually 60 add 60 add 10, which was 120 add 10 more is 130. So this is actually 100, which belongs in the hundreds column and the 30 belongs in the tens column. OK, now we can go into this, the hundreds column. Five, add one is six. Don't forget to add that one underneath. Therefore, my answer is 635. And to complete this column addition method, I had to do two exchanges. One where I exchanged 10 ones for 110 and one where I exchanged 10 tens for 100. OK, let's have another look at the gold because it was quite tricky. So here's a gold example where we're doing three digit add another three digit number. 638 at 192. Eight ones, three tens, six hundreds. 192. Two ones, nine tens, 100. The add symbol at the side. It's all laid out correctly in the correct place value columns, so I can start adding. Eight add two is ten. No ones, one ten. Nine add three is twelve. But let's not forget to add the one underneath, which makes it thirteen. That's a three in the tens column, and a one in the next column over the hundreds column. Now we can concentrate on hundreds. Six add one. Oh, don't forget to add the one underneath. Six add one is seven. Add one more is eight. Therefore, my answer is eight hundred and thirty. So if you think that the gold is still quite easy for you, there is a challenge. And this is what the challenge looks like. You would like to have a go at if you completed the gold first, please. So here we've got a column addition method already laid out for you, but there's some numbers missing. So we're going to have to use our inverse or our opposites to help us. So seven add what makes four? Ooh, well that's tricky. So it must be seven add something makes 14. There must have been a one down here, a 10 in the tens column. So what's seven add what makes 14? That's right, seven add seven makes 14, which means that first missing number there must be a seven. So let's concentrate on the tens now. Something add six, add one makes nine. Okay, so let's take the six of the one is seven. 
I'm on seven. How many more till nine? Seven, eight, nine. So this number here must be eight, two. I've crossed this off because I've already added that number. Okay, so now let's focus on the hundreds. Nine add something makes 12. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So the number missing here must be a three. So if you fancy a challenge, make sure you do the gold first and then have a go at some of these missing digit numbers on the challenge sheet, which you will find in the year three support page under the maths today. Okay. So here are your bronze, silver, gold questions. They are also in the team's support page today, but you could just pause the video here. Uh, use the formal column addition method to answer these questions in your blue, ma blue maths books. Make sure you show your workings for every question and remember to do one digit per square. Um, unpause the video when you have finished so that we can come back and do the answers together. Okay, so welcome back. Here are the answers to the bronze, silver and gold. So if you need these, pause the video and use your purple pen to mark them. And here are the answers for today's challenge. Again, use your purple pen to mark your answers. And remember to send photos of your completed maths work today to your teacher via the chat link on Teams. Excellent maths again today, year three. Well done. You've done some awesome work. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye.